journalistically, when we, when we talk about it, we, we have the same sort of debate, but they are victims of a shooting at a minimum, uh, Sarah, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. Respectfully, I completely disagree with Laura. I think what this judge did is, you know, inappropriate. We have two deceased human beings, human spirits, and to remove the word victim, I think, sets a tone of protecting the perpetrator, protecting the alleged perpetrator, I shall say, and, you know, that makes a big statement to the jury in and of itself. So, respectfully, I disagree. I think the word victim, when you have two deceased human spirits, must be used and can be used. And again, it does rest with the jury, but I think jurors understand these people are dead. They were victims of a shooting, and it is only appropriate to call them that. Obviously, I, I really, really don't agree with you in this case. These are people who are deceased. There's nothing here that says they are the victims. In, in, in fact, they may be the aggressors, and that's for the jury to decide. To decide For us to say it's unfair, it's wrong, that's not correct. This judge is within his rights to say, call them the deceased, call them something else other than the, other than the victim. It is for the jury, not for the prosecution, not for some, for some lawyer who so and so, so uh, represents these two individuals or three individuals to get up and say these are the victims. That is, again, for the jury to decide, and there's nothing wrong with what this judge did here. And again, I wholeheartedly disagree coming from, you know, not a defense background, coming from a very pro-plaintiff pro background. This judge made a lot of other statements in his message to the prosecutor, including withholding information from a prosecutor. This judge showed his true colors. I'm unimpressed. And I think he is putting something in the jurors' minds that doesn't need to be there. Well, easy for us to say that when a judge, anytime that a judge makes some pro-defense rulings, we end up saying, oh, see, he's biased. That's not necessarily true. He's following the Constitution. He's upholding the laws. We, defendants are part of the people. They do have rights, constitutional rights. And what this judge is doing is exactly that, upholding those rights. Again, he showed his true colors. He, that, that entire hearing was, was pro-defendant. And so, you know, I disagree, disagree with you respectfully. I think going into this, you know, it, let's call it what it is. Two people were shot. Um, it's all there on video. And yes, does the defendant have the right to due process? Absolutely. To a fair jury trial? Absolutely. But when you're shot and killed, you are a victim of a shooting. Okay, now you may.